Is it recording? Oh, it's recording. Hey guys! Um, I... Well, well, I don't know what I'm doing. This is weird. Oh god. You guys and your silly last names. I decided to do a Q&A video because I wanted you guys to get to know me a little bit better. Victor Mejia, why are ducks so attracted to you? I, I don't know. Fuck you, duck! This duck! A good duck! Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no! Christopher Turco was Basila suffering that bad boy thing that Padme and Leia had going on, or is it just my imagination? What? Top three favorite video games of all time. Generally boring because I cosplay my favorite video games, but in the order of how much I love them, number one has to be Dragon Age Origins, number two is Mass Effect, and number three I want to say another Bioware game, like Knights of the Old Republic, but I think I'm gonna say Red Dead Redemption because that game is fantastic and I do not want to just strictly be Bioware a uh, fan even though I'm very much into Bioware. So I'll give there I'll give a Rockstar game. Isaac Joseph. How do you pick characters to cosplay and is there particular criteria you adhere to? Huh. Um, I pick characters and I play the game and then I look at the character a lot and then I'm like you. Tonight, you. Or I pick somebody that I really, really, really just love the design. Like Moxie, I love the buttons on her costume. I love the face paint, the buttons, the shoes, her attitude. She's just like a walking, talking, cringe-worthy boob. Not two boobs, one boob. And she has no pants on. No pants in public is awesome. I know this is not the way you should cosplay and like people should just do whatever they want, but I, my goal is to bring a character to life. If I cannot do that by sheer body type, I will adapt myself to it. With Miranda, I started doing more squats. I gotta do more squats, more lunges, more butt exercises. Uh, just because her butt's like super nice and like, with most of my characters, you'll notice except for Miranda, have round faces and I have a round face and it's what I look for is the facial structure. I generally don't have the strong jawline of a um, comic book character so I don't generally do anything comic book related and not only that I don't read comic books but that's that's, that's that. Fernando Di Sedano, uh, name five of your favorite cosplayers. Dust Bunny. Dust Bunny's awesome. She makes all her own stuff. She's badass at it. Like Nathan DeLuca. Nathan builds everything. He's gonna be building my Miranda Lawson uh, gun. I don't know which gun I want, but I will figure that out when I get to it. April Gloria, she's super cool. She's an awesome lady. She shared my page once and I freaked out and I was like, you know me? Oh my god. Jessica Negri, just because I don't care if she has big boobs. Her boobs are awesome, whatever. But she has a heart of gold and she's a lovely lady. If you ever get a chance to meet her in person, she's amazing. She's the sweetest girl ever. I like Jessica Miseran and Holly Conrad. Those two are amazing. They are a power couple and they are my Women Crush Wednesday. Andres Lopez Strongon. Are you a boy or a girl? I don't know. Renee Carlo. What's your definition of cosplay? Definition of cosplay is bringing a character to life in front of a camera, encouraging others to do the same, being resourceful, having a good time, just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> Finding strengths inside of yourself you never knew you had. That is a major cliche, but that is very, very, very much true to me at least. Finding out that I was able to make Liara to Sony come to life just off of like researching on the internet and thinking that I could make something like this is gonna sound silly calling something I made as a masterpiece but I'm not gonna say that but just just saying that you are capable of making a masterpiece just off of of one resource is pretty awesome Josh Unknown that is an unfortunate last name 
No, actually, I think that's a really cool last name. <laughs> what is your biggest reward in life because of cosplay? Prize's comments and letting me know that I, I nailed it and that you don't see me in that photo, you see the character. Um, also, whenever I go and shoot, whenever I get to pick out the photos that I like, generally I've been working with David Love and that's how he runs, is you shoot and then when you're done, he uploads all the photos onto an album and then you need to scroll through and like pick whichever one you like of your face. I like seeing the whole behind the scenes aspect and how it comes to life. Like that is my reward is seeing all this effort just to just to see that like I made it look like I'm a character that just jumped out of a game. It's pretty it's pretty cool. Travis Go. That like Van Go? Alright. Would you ever do a fan film of Knights of the Old Republic as Basil Sean if asked? I would I would totally do that, except I think I think that every fan fiction I've ever seen has kind of looked like Tim and Eric Awesome Show quality, and I th I'm kind of scared of that, and um, I don't know if that'll be like a good, a good thing. <laughs> but I, I would totally love to do that. Favorite animal, says William McGruffin. I have a top five. Number one is a dragon, but if you want to go the realistic route, hedgehog. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go realistic on you. So number one is a hedgehog. I would love to have another hedgehog, but I had to get rid of mine because my roommates didn't like the smell. Number two is an orca whale or a killer whale. Number three is an African serval from, um, that's actually like what this cat is mixed with. He's a African serval, Egyptian meat mix. He is my, he's my bud. <laughs> a porcupine, um, a wolf. I love, I love spiky animals. I used to have a hedgehog for a while, and my dad used to call me porcupine when I was a kid because my hair would stick up. Levi or Levi? Lee. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Will you ever be coming to a New York con? I screwed up big time, big time. I have friends that live in New York, they live right next to the area where New York Comic Con was, and I didn't even put two and two together. I just sat at home and was like, I could have gone there. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so mad. I didn't even think. I want to, I really want to. I'm probably gonna go to one eventually. I also have family in Boston, and they live right near where PAX East is gonna be, and I didn't even think of that. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Thomas Ler and what cosplay would you love to do as your next project? I will tell you right now, actually, because if you're watching this video, then you're awesome. So, um, my next cosplay project, obviously, is, uh, Burlesque Art Articuno that I've already talked about. I have a picture right here. This looks gonna look like, oh my god. Those are wings. And Misty from Pokemon. Yeah, it's easy. Whatever but I'm gonna have a burnt bicycle. Walking around with it and carrying it over my head, being like, what happened to my bike? And like yelling at people, and it's gonna be great. It's a silly costume, but it's only because um, this is probably my last South Florida Miami convention for a very long time, and I kinda wanna not take it seriously. I kinda want it to be funny. Bringing my dog, Cheza, because she's ESA certified and she can get in. Um, she's gonna be dressed as Pikachu, because at that episode of Pokemon, it's the very first episode, Misty does not have Togepi yet, and I think Misty is generally one of the um, most popular cosplays that is frequently screwed up, and I really want to do it my way and fix it and just be like, why are you ruining the Cosmic cosplay? It's not hard. I just want to fix, like, all of it. It's just aggravating me. After that, I'm going to be doing, um, uh, I don't really know. I'm a little nervous about telling you guys. I'll tell you anyway. I want to do Commander Shepard, fem Femship, really bad. This is why I've been doing easier costumes because I'm mentally thinking out how I'm gonna make a Shepard happen. And I want to make it right. I don't want to screw it up. I didn't want to tell you guys because I didn't want to be like, I'm doing this, and then like fail. And then be like, Angel Lee, have you considered to come to Mexico to the comics conventions? 
would be awesome to see you in your cosplay there. I would love to go to Mexico. I don't even have a passport though. I need to get on that. I would love to do a Mexico convention. What you can do to um, possibly have me there is is email the director of the convention and put in a request for me and you can have several other people put in more requests and the more requests they get the more likely I will have a chance of going there and saying hi to you guys and I will give you the best hug you've ever had. I have not been able to go to many conventions because I'm um, building so many costumes and just shooting them. That's my main goal right now. Uh, to do as many characters as I possibly can and maybe spark some interest with some conventions if they would like to have me. Now um, I'm starting to slow down with the South Florida cons because there's just like this... I just don't have any interest anymore with South Florida conventions. I would like to branch up. Getting too expensive, um, I'm not able to gain any guest spots. It's just, it's just a lost cause for me. My money is best spent not traveling to a con down there. It's best spent in this room building more things to um look cooler so um i think that's i think i answered a good amount till next time